Welcome back to Whole Future, guys. I wanted to share with you today an article I found on nutritionfacts.org. And when I say I found it, I should say that my friend Ronnie Smith found it and posted it on Facebook. And I was really blown away. It's really simple, but really powerful. I want to share it with you. So you can check out the URL here. But basically, the title is The Number One Dietary Risk Factor is not eating enough fruit. And that's the number one dietary risk factor for death. So basically there was a study back in 2012 called the Global, the Global Burden of Disease Study, which basically looked at how much healthcare costs were and how much it cost the world in billions and sometimes trillions of dollars to fight disease. And this is fight disease as opposed to prevent disease. And so basically what they found that um, if people just ate more fruit, we would present 4.9 million deaths per year. And the funny thing is that the amount of fruit that more that they needed to eat is like tiny. Like I'm going to town here on a gigantic 64 ounce persimmon smoothie. This is like 16 servings of fruit right here. Okay, the U.S. recommended amount is like three to five or something ridiculous like that. So it's like a fraction of it's like this much. Most people don't even eat that. But if they did, the science shows that we could save hundreds of thousands of lives and billions of dollars of health care because cutting up someone's heart when they have heart disease is very expensive. So you think organic fruits and vegetables are expensive? Try a $150,000 heart surgery. And guess what? Even if you have insurance and you're not paying 150 grand, but you're paying a copay or whatever, I don't know. But the thing is that the system overall is bearing the burden of that. And so that everybody else's healthcare costs goes up as a result. So you may not see it as a direct cost, but it's, it's coming out of your pocket one way or another. So, I guess I just want to point out here, the main, main takeaway of this article is that the science is very clear, people are not eating enough fruit, and it's killing us. Fruit is so good. So I have plenty of videos on this channel of recipes and like how to shop for fruit cheap, and that's not the point here, but just to show you like, guys, how important it is. So we look at this article, this study by the Union of Concerned Scientists, and it shows that People actually eat um, more vegetables than they do fruit, but we're looking at we need um, four and a half servings, oh, four and a half cups a day, which is it's not much at all, guys. And so there's another table in here. We look at the um, the annual health care costs. So if people just ate one more serving of fruit, we would save twenty three thousand total of thirty thousand lives every year. And if people ate the recommended amount, we'd save 127,000 lives every year. And right now in 2007, in 2010 dollars, that would be a $17 billion savings. But as inflation and number of people with heart disease continues to rise, this is expected to be 54 billion by the year 2030. So that's, that's big money. That's like, you know, sending everybody to college type money, okay? And then they do this thing called the value of increased longevity, which is like a kind of a statistic that looks at like how much money is really saved when you're saving this life. And they add it up to $11 trillion. I don't know where they get that number, but I'm satisfied with $50 billion. That's a huge number. So the science is here, guys. It's really simple. You don't have to worry about like, you know, it's like... People are arguing over micronutrients and carbs and fats and protein and all this other like meaningless like details. It's like fruits and vegetables, okay? Fruits and vegetables, like it's that simple. I, and it's funny because so many people think that they eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, but when it comes down to a day to day, if you really track what you eat, you probably don't. I know, I was there. I was in that same situation where I thought, oh, I'm vegetarian. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I'm really sick. And then I saw you know, a video of Dan McDonald saying that fruits and vegetables are the healthiest foods and if you eat like a ton of them, you're gonna experience a really high level of health. I thought, 
oh, I actually really don't eat that many fruits and vegetables. And when I started pounding them in here, let me tell you, a blender helps a lot. I was able to get rid of so many disease conditions and feel so much better. It works for practically everything. Diabetes, heart disease, autoimmune, so many chronic conditions. It could be ameliorated and self-corrected just by increasing fruit and vegetable intake. And okay, it's four and a half cups a day is the recommended level. If you want to just be mediocre and just kind of scooting by, do that. But if you want to like experience awesome levels of vitality where you are waking up early without an alarm, you have tons of energy to exercise and stay fit, plenty of mental focus to do you know, a great job at your job, to have better relationships with people because you have more energy, more mental clarity, you just feel happier. That's like probably the number one benefit than just radically increase your consumption of fruits and vegetables. All the other stuff will fall by the wayside, but just think of it from the inclusion standpoint of eating more. So I know it's like a really simple duh message, eat more fruits and vegetables, but seriously, the benefits are profound. And if this study and the math doesn't convince you here, I don't know what will. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please share it for everybody who needs to know. Really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you guys next video. Hey guys, subscribe to Whole Future on YouTube, and check out Whole Future on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat as well.